Do you ever wonder on how we can create layouts with all of our individual renders? To get something like this, a poster that is clear and will get you a high grade. In this video I will teach you how to use the basics of InDesign such as creating a layout, adding files, text and more. If you are a regular watcher, welcome back and if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos on this channel. First thing you need is to create a new file. Since you are creating a layout, we will use a document. You will keep all the settings the same, only change the size you can choose from any of the list or create your own by simply adding sizes. Now to know what you actually need to do, you have to create a list. Since I'm doing a site analysis poster, I have listed an analysis topics which I will do diagrams for. Then you start adding your grid line. You can add grid lines when creating the file, but I wanted to do it uh, manually, mainly because I didn't exactly know how big everything wanted to be. But yeah, you do this by clicking and dragging on the rulers, which you can get by clicking Ctrl R or for the Mac users, Command R. Then you add your boxes. These boxes will determine where my diagrams will go and how big they will be. It's ideal to sketch out the layout beforehand so you don't waste time and know, and know what goes where. This doesn't have to be in great detail, something like this would do. The best thing about InDesign is you can add any Adobe files just like that. When you when you add a file, you can resize and crop the image to make it fit. You can also drop them into the actual box and it will automatically make it fit for you. When you're adding the files, you can use Ctrl or Command for the Mac users to resize and hold Shift to keep the proportions. And then you can click once and hold Shift to move inside the box, if that makes sense. When you have imported a file but it doesn't fit or something is hidden, you can right click and select or edit original which opens whatever file it's made on, so for example Photoshop, and you can change it. And then go back to InDesign and click the little triangle and it will update. I then just kept going and added all the other files which I showed earlier in the video. These files are low quality so do not panic. If you think something happened, InDesign does this to make it easier for you to use and quicker. You can always uh, change by right clicking and click show as high resolution. This does make it slow so be aware. After you are finished, you can start adding your text, all you do is click T and then write whatever you need. Another great feature is the find text tool. So go to type, find font, select font, change the font to whatever you want and then click change all. And there you go, it all changed it all without having to go and changing it all. You can always change your view just to see how it would look in presentation by the bottom left tab and click and hold and move to presentation tab. Now to export the file you can change a few stuff such as the page number or the file and uh, what file to export. The best thing to do is to export as PDF. You can change the resolution, make sure it's still on the DPI and you can change the quality and then click export and it will open automatically. And oh my god, just look how clear that is. 
I'm so surprised like what the next video will be 10 tips for creating stunning architecture project presentations so stay tuned for that don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you next week